to help verify input. eTabs offers a number of features to visually review models. Verifying model input must always be done, and this typically means reviewing input forms and tables. However, eTabs also offers a number of model visualization tools that can be very beneficial in identifying model errors. These include walkthroughs, cutaways, and the 3D printing of building models. We will first take a look at the walk option, which allows users to go inside their structural model. We will demonstrate this feature on a steel-framed office building in a 3D view. In order to utilize the walk feature, the active window must be a 3D view and the program must be set to the DirectX graphics mode. When DirectX is on, the walk button on the toolbar and the walk command under the view menu become available. They are not available in the standard graphics mode. So that the walkthrough will be more realistic, we will switch the 3D view to an extruded view. We now click the walk button. The walk mode is now active. The button will remain highlighted and active until the button is clicked again or the select object button is clicked. To walk into the building, we hold down the left mouse button and move the mouse. If we hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse, we go up and down in the building just like an elevator. Finally, holding down the center button and moving the mouse allows us to rotate our view. Again, we exit the walk mode by clicking on the walk toolbar button once more. Next, we will demonstrate how to do a cutaway. This allows the user to slice away a portion of the building along a grid line for a better view of the interior. Again, the program must be in DirectX. This feature is accessed through the View Set Elevation View command. When DirectX is active, the set elevation view form shows a 3D section cut option as well as left and right selections. For our model, let's say that we want to cut away the front of the building, that is, the first bay, so that we may get a better look inside. To do this, we highlight grid line 2, check the 3D section cut option, and select right. This will remove from view the portion of the building to the right of grid line 2. If we select left, the back portion of the building to the left of grid line 2 would be removed from the display. Note that this feature does not alter the model. It only impacts what is displayed in the current window. Next, we will look at the 3D printing capabilities that eTabs offers. This allows a physical 3D model to be created directly from an eTabs file using a 3D printer. The structure shown here is a concrete structure previously generated using eTabs open application programming interface. It is a concrete core wall building with perimeter beams and columns.
Each floor shrinks in size as you go up the building. Unlike the walk mode and the cutaway feature, the program does not need to use DirectX graphics for the 3D printing option, and standard graphics will work just fine. And it should be also noted that the 3D printed models will always be in the extruded mode. The 3D printer model exported out will be of whatever is shown in the active window. If a plan view or elevation is active, only the objects in the window will be printed. If a 3D view is active, the entire model will be exported. And since we would like to print the entire building, we will set the active window to the 3D view. To export the model for 3D printing, we go to the file export 3D printing dot sdl file command dot sdl typically stands for standard tessellation language and this file standard is supported by many 3d modeling and printing applications including 3d builder which is what we will use next our sdl file will be called model 8 With the .stl file exported, we can now open our 3D modeling printing application, in this case 3D Builder, and load in the file just exported from eTabs, Model 8. After verifying that the model looks correct, and note that it is extruded even though it was not extruded in our eTabs view. We can import the model and send it to a 3D printer. The final result is an accurate 3D physical representation of our eTabs building. This concludes this tutorial on the tools available within eTabs for model visualization.